All right, so one question you might have is how loud is the mini mill? Um, so I have it here, and you can hear me talking but for reference because they know how loud I'm talking. I have a few things here. So here's a standard sort of household vacuum cleaner you can compare it to. So turn this on here. So that's the vacuum cleaner running. Now the mini mill on low RPM, this is just with the standard gearing. So spinning really slowly, it's fairly quiet. As you increase it, it gets a little louder. But still not insane. Um, if I switch to the high. So again, loud, but maybe a loud sewing machine type loudness. Um, so one thing you can do is you can actually adjust the motor mount as well, which they tell you in the little machine shop guide, which is far superior to any of the provided guides from, this is from uh, Busy Bee, the specific one, but Harbor Freight or any of them. So if you loosen the motor mount a tiny bit, switch to the high RPM, you jiggle that and then turn it on. And as I'm running this, if I move around the motor, you'll hear that I can improve or make worse the gear meshing. So if you just sort of move that very gently until you get the quietest machine, maybe there, and lock that down, that's going to improve your noise quite a bit. Another simple thing to do is to open the top. Um, so if you take those four bolts off that you were adjusting, just lift the motor straight up. You can see just this top plastic gear there. So there was a little bit of grease on the side that wasn't really put in nicely, I found. Um, so if you mush that around, and you may even consider if you want, you could add more if there isn't sufficient grease there from the factory. Um, that also reduced the noise a little bit. And the little machine shop guide tells you how you can put some grease in the internal gear chain. You, you could take it totally apart to see how that is, but again, that'll help improve with just the gears, the noise level of the machine decided to experiment with some O-rings, so I had some, um, what size are these, 111 size, um, so they're actually from some scuba stuff, but anyway, exact size doesn't matter, so I take off the motor mount again, I'm just going to place one on each of the spots here, uh, now when you're tightening them up, you'll have to be a little careful tightening the screws, um, because it may start to, if you just torque them down all the way, um, a, you can totally compress them to the point it was pointless, but also you'll notice it sits at a bit, um, it'll sit a bit forward because the four mounting holes are here and here, and there's all this extra, so there it's flush, here it's up, so you'll need to tighten the front ones a little more perhaps than the back ones. Um, I don't think there's a hard and fast recipe for this. I'm just totally making it up here. So let's go ahead and put those in and I'll tighten them up. I have these just loosely tightened and again we'll do the same procedure of turning this on and then playing around a bit before I'm totally locking it down. So maybe there sounds nice. Yeah. And because of the O-rings, um, you will have to play a little with your tightening sequence. And it's probably less rigid now considerably, um, so if you're milling something hard it may cause the motor mode to shift in its mounts. So you should be aware of that. It depends what you're doing. I'm only planning on using this for really light drilling initially and wanted to quiet it down quite a bit. And that's a little better. So I've tightened the screws to my satisfaction here, so this is solid. Um, and now it's in the high range, so we can see what the noise is like. And I think it's quite a bit better. So it's about halfway. Again, you can compare that to the vacuum cleaner here. Probably 
about as loud, maybe a bit quieter than the vacuum cleaner. Um, so, a reasonable thing to use anyway.